it's literally um little mermaid isn't it i love it i love it yeah if you've got a big head this one's probably not for you christ Hi, I'm Kat from Ohio DIY and today's video is an Amazon Wigs try on haul. I've done one of these videos before, I will link it below so you can watch the other one. Um, it was pretty popular so I thought I would do it again with some different wigs. Um, it's a really fun video to film, I love sort of messing about with stuff like this. All the wigs in the video are super cheap so um, the maximum I think is £35 so not going to break the bank cheap and cheerful, nice and fun and accessible some of them are even cheaper than that, some of them are like half that price so if you don't want to kind of dye your hair or you know go too wild permanently you're a bit worried about that or you want to change the length for a night out or that kind of thing um, a wig is a really great option so let's get started and the first wig that I have got for you is a purple short ombre wig. It's kind of multiple purples and silvers. Um, it was only £15.99, so it's super cheap. Um, so I'm going to put the dreaded wig cap on and I'll show you that wig now. So here I am looking absolutely divine in my wig cap. Um, and this is the wig. So you can see it is a beautiful ombre. So it starts with dark roots to silver to purple. So this is really gorgeous. Um, it is kind of shiny, so um, <clears throat> can look a little bit synthetic looking. You probably have to powder this. Um, it's not lace front, so we'll see how that goes. Sorry, I've shut the dog out of the room, and you can hear that he's not thrilled about that turn of events. So just put lift the wig on, pull it forward, and you can see. Right, so the front... Let's be honest, um, it's not very natural looking at the front and I don't think you're going to get it that way because it is not a lace front. So you can't really um, pluck this. It is just what it is, sort of a solid line. Let's see if we can make it, move it to the side a bit. Yeah, it is kind of false looking. Um, you could cut this a little bit into a fringe or just make that a bit nicer at the front. But really, what, you kinda go, what you're looking for here is either wearing a headscarf or a hat with it. So I'll just go and get one now and I'll show you that. Okay, so this is kind of a good trick for if you want to pull off a wig, is either wear sort of a headscarf or a headband or just cover the hairline with a hat. Because you can see, if you can't see that sort of awful hairline, it starts to just look a bit more like it's your hair. Like I say, you probably do need to powder this because um, it is quite shiny and synthetic looking, so it does need a bit of judging up. Um, but I do really like the colour. And you could style this, they're all stylable, so that's good. Um, so yeah, this is a cute one and quite a, a bold statement if you don't want to do this with your natural hair. The next wig that I have for you is a really long um, sort of red wig, um, not sort of synthetic red, like more, a little bit more natural red. This one was £35.99 and it's from, let me just check my notes, Bastung I think was the company, I'll link all the wigs below so you can shop them. Um, so I'll get that one right now. Okay, so this is the red one, this is Bastung. Best one is the brand name, so you can see this is beautiful, the curls are gorgeous. And this one is a lace front one, so you'll be able to make the hairline on this look really, really natural. So, putting it into place. Now, you can see, I think, already, pulling it a bit down over my hairline, that, the, you know, the hairline needs a bit of work and a bit of plucking it hasn't really it's got a bit of a part in so let's try and just pull that down a bit um this one is you are able to heat style this one so if you you can play with it a little bit and then just pull you'll be able to make this a bit nicer and what i would recommend is just trimming it kind of around the face as well create some shorter you're supposed to do that on the hairline to create some sort of baby hairs but you can also do it on the front just to create some extra layers here and like almost like you've got a bit of breakage because that is kind of natural and um, this one is gorgeous how beautiful is this it's literally um little mermaid isn't it oh, um yeah i'm down with this it is already without even doing anything to the hairline you'll have to excuse the lace 
but it is already a lot more natural um, than the last one and obviously it's twice the price more than twice the price but look how beautiful that red hair is and if you like I say if you styled it around the front so I don't like that it's sticking up but if you um, pushed it further forward actually the hair you would get away so if you styled it so that it was forward instead of sticking up um, I think probably you would get away with it as natural hair you don't need to do much here because I don't know if you can see zoom in and you see there that the hairline is already um, plucked and a bit sort of thinned out, which is great. Um, so yeah, beautiful. I like this one a lot. Um, the next one that I have for you is, so it's kind of a short blonde ombre one. So I go through stages, like it's taken me a long time to dye my hair. Um, but I go through stages of wanting to cut it. Um, and if I was going to cut it, this is kind of as close to what I would like as I could get. So I thought this was quite a good one for me. So I'll get this one for you and give it a try. Okay, so this one is also lace front and you can see it's got the beautiful sort of ombre colour. And this is really nice because you can see in the tones of it that it's got lots of different shades of blonde in. It's not sort of just one... I don't know if you can see, can you see? It's not sort of just one tone, so it looks really like natural hair. It's got quite a natural hair texture to it as well. It's not as silky as some of the others. Um, this one is also a lace front one. So let's give this a try. God, I hate this bloody wig cap. This one feels a bit smaller than the others. And it's got like darker lace, which is kind of good if you're naturally dark. Um, and again with a lace front one you can kind of pluck the hairline this hairline you can see this hairline is not as nice as the one on the previous wig so let's just pull it down so you can see better can you see um, it is sort of plucked a little bit but the other one was um, the ginger one was really nice and sort of <laughs> fine hush bloody barking dog all the time every day um, this one is heat resistant as well, so you can style it. So again, I'd want to kind of pull the front forward a little bit. Um, I actually do really like this. Um, it is, like I say, I want to, um, if, I wa if I was going to cut my hair, this is kind of what I would want it to be. Um, sort of sun-kissed, sort of ombre. But again, just the best thing to do would just be to trim the front a little bit, just to give you a bit more definition around your face. Um, like I say, you are going to need to do, put a bit more work into this one in the hairline and maybe that's, you know, sort of a dark root kind of a thing. Um, but, 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 taking that into consideration and actually because I've got naturally dark hair anyway, it could push it, let's see, push it back a little bit over. Mm, no, I don't think that's going to work. So I think with some careful messing around it, um, this is going to look pretty natural and again in the um, hat situation like so that just looks like my hair doesn't it you don't you wouldn't even need to powder this one this one just looks like hair I think if I turned up anywhere with this and this hat on people would think I just had my hair cut and my hair done because it's not it isn't super shiny, it's actually quite matte, the hair. Um, I love this, I love this. This is exactly what I would want if I, um, like I say, if I cut my hair, this is what I'd want. And if, I reckon you could make this hairline look natural enough um, that you could just wear it. This is great. Um, this one, again, was 34 99 so it's um, the more expensive of the wigs in the video. Um, but even though like this is just out the bag straight out the bag this um, and it looks really nice so yeah this is definitely definitely a winner I love it I love it okay so next I have for you a Vaboni long purple wig so again this is I I think you've seen on my Instagram if you haven't go and follow me um, I actually dyed my hair purple a little while ago and whilst it was really nice I wasn't keen on it forever and I got a bit worried about going to work with it purple. It's just kind of a bold statement, isn't it, for every day. You know, this, perfect, this looks natural, it's a nice colour, um, this is fine, but 
purple is you know, you sort of saying, I'm here. Um, so, a wig is a great choice if you want to go for a bolder colour but you don't kind of want to stick to it permanently. Um, so, the very bunny one was also 34 99 so I'll try that on for you now. So, again, this one is a lace front wig and you can see that it's got, again, the ombre roots. Um, I think the ombre roots kind of make it look a lot nicer because if it's got a natural sort of colour at the hairline, it doesn't look as like, oh my god, you're wearing a wig. Um, and it's lovely and long. It is a little bit shiny. It's somewhere in between between the two last ones. Kind of, it's got a sheen to it, but it's not super super. I'm a wig shiny, um, but it's not as natural as the last one either. So we'll put this one on. Oh, oh god! I said the last one was tight. This one is tight. Bloody hell! Eek. Right, get it over my. Yeah, if you've got a big head, this one's probably not for you. Christ. Um, it's got quite a natural hairline um, already. A bit more like the um, red one than anything else. Let's move that buddy. Move the lace up. And again, it's heat resistant, so you can style it if you wanted to this is nice god i'm just a sucker for all of them aren't i like i'm just a sucker for um different hair and a wig but i actually think of the ones that i've tried on so far this actually looks the most natural from the start again cut some layers into it it has got a few layers actually this bit is shorter than the end so let me just go back a bit so you can see it goes right down to there i think what i would do actually we keep going back it's right down to my waist is I probably cut it about here um don't really need waist length hair to be honest um but again I kind of think if I turned up in this people would think that I just dyed my hair again although my hair is not in as good condition as this um but I love the colour at the roots I love how this feels, it's really nice and soft and like I say not too shiny so um, it's you could powder it a little bit if you wanted to but I don't think it's too synthetic looking um, and yeah again for 35 quid this is a winner, it's a damn sight cheaper than going to the hairdressers that's for sure so yeah I really like this one, it's a lovely colour sort of muted dusky purple rather than in your face bright purple which is also very nice um, okay, so next I've gone for another bold colour. Um, the next wig is going to be green. Okay, so um, just a note on the purple wig. It wasn't that tight. When I took it off, I noticed that the um, sort of tightening clips inside were already fastened, so it would be fine for anybody. Um, check that before you put it on. Um, so this one, I think, is actually the same sort of model wig as the first one, you know, the purple and silver ombre one. Um, this one is also 15 99 and it's this green colour now. I think I would like this to be a bit longer. Um, I do kind of like the green actually. Unusually, I didn't think I would. Never thought of dyeing my hair green. Um, but I do quite like it. It's quite dark. But this is, again, we've gone back to sort of shiny, shiny wig territory where it would need to be sort of heavily powdered. You'd need to quite invest quite a lot of time in this. And you would need to wear it with the hairline covered because it does pretty much look very wiggy and also at the front I don't know if you can see it's really thick here like it's a big thick piece so it's not it doesn't sit like super flat against your head either so we'll get the old hat out again and put that on and then yeah that's better isn't it so again if you just wanted if you if you could wear a hat or like a headband or a headscarf with it um this is great for a little color change um but i don't it's it's not a natural wig it's not a wig that you're gonna just be able to pull off and people think is your hair um uh, but again it is a nice i really like the green i think the green is a really lovely color actually so we'll move on okay so next we have a silver wig so um again you will have seen on my instagram that I've dyed my hair silver and again purple and then it went silver, grey. Um, I love that but it doesn't really last um, and I do quite like it sort of, I like it ashy blonde and sometimes you get kind of stuck trying to get that and going into silver. 
Um, so again, a wig is a good idea um, for if I'm sort of trying to protect it a bit and not go too far with it. Um, so the next wig is a, I don't know how you say it, it's got a silent T, so probably Snow More, um, and it's a silver wig, and it was 29 99 Okay, so I think that this is also the same sort of body as the last one, um, but this one's longer, so you've got more hair with this one. So again, it is the shiny sort of, you can see on the roots, particularly on the black, it is very shiny um, and would need some powder in. Um, but, oh, it, sm it smells a bit funny, this one. Yeah, this one smells a bit damp. She says that she's just put it on her head, but mm, never mind. Um, this one, mm, I think we can, yeah, I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of this one. It sits a bit funny, if you can see that. Kind of, it's, the sort of curls to it are in a bit of a weird place. It has got layers, see, so it is layered at the bottom. So I think you can heat style it. Um, so you might be able to do something with that. Um, is it the nicest silver wig I've seen? No. Um, again, it's got this really horrible sort of fake hairline. I'll get the old hat back out. It's not too bad with the hat on. It is kind of silver, but I, I do think it looks pretty wiggy. Um, but if it was powdered, maybe. If it was a bit styled a bit more... Maybe, and I love silver hair, so I'm quite surprised actually that I don't like this because this is one of the ones that I was expecting that I'd be in love with, um, but unfortunately, not so much. Looks alright, the hat looks alright. Okay, so we are moving on to um, a VV Bing silver, I think. So if you watched my last video, um, this next one is the silver version of the pink one that I wore in the next in the last video. So I'm super excited about this because I love that wig. So this is another lace front one. And as you can see, it is the same as the pink one that I had in the last video, except this time it's got the dark roots and it is silver. Um, so this one's a lace front one again. You know, the lace front ones are largely considered better um, just because it can give you a more natural hairline. Uh, so this one, as you can see, has kind of baby hairs already sort of built into it, but they do look a kind of a little bit weird. Don't lie to you. Um, and yeah, let's pull that lace up a bit. <clears throat> so this is quite a statement, isn't it? <laughs> um, I must say that I'm not actually as keen on it as I am the pink one, and I fully love the pink one. Uh, you can check out my last video for that, as I said. Um, this one, I don't know if it looks a bit witchy, to be honest. It has got, look, you can see, so it has already got quite a good hairline. It's already got sort of plucked hairs, shorter hairs. Um, it's not too heavy, um, but... I think because I don't know if it's just the silver but it just sort of quite wiggy and it's you know it's a bit it is a bit like old ladies hair isn't it whereas rather than sort of cool silver hair um not actually I think because it's so dark the baby hairs are really getting me as well I don't like them um so yeah a bit disappointed with this one if I'm honest I was quite excited for it um because of how much I like the other one but um nah so here we have the lace front, a really long blonde one. This is ultimate Barbie wig. Let's just check it's not fastened up, actually. Because this is another Vebony one, so this is the same as the purple one, the dusky purple one. That's a bit better. So, its hairline's a bit messed up coming out of the bag, but let's have a look. So, yes, already kind of plucked, a bit more thinned out, so that's good. That's what we like. Bit help on the prep. It feels like this is a bit more tangled coming out the bag than perhaps the others are. Um, again, you could, I suppose I've not said this previously, but you know, they come with a parting, but you can just kind of flip them around to create a new parting if you so desire. Um, but let's try and find the OG one. I don't know why I've done it, it's a bit of a mess this one actually. I'm gonna take it off and try again. Yeah, so it's very long this one, so. Again, 
you can see it goes right down to my waist. Um, I'm kind of disappointed with the top of it. This is really annoying me that I can't get it to lie flat, as you can tell. So um, I'll probably edit out some of the time that I've spent dealing with that. Um, but, you know, it's kind of a nice blonde wig. It does look... It's kind of shiny, but not too shiny. It feels very soft. Don't know where my hat is. Uh, I'm just going to try it with the hat, but I've lost my hat. Um, it will need styling. It'll need styling. This bit is annoying me too much to even concentrate on the rest of it. But if you wanted kind of a real, if you wanted really long blonde hair, um, this is kind of the one for you because it is very sort of Barbie beach girl esque, isn't it? So I'm back now in my favourite wig from the video. Um, I I just love it. It does need some work on the hairline, but once that's done, um, I just think it's really natural and kind of perfect. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making it. It's loads of fun just trying on different kinds of wigs. I hope it's inspired you. Let me know if you're going to get one of the wigs or you've got a favourite wig. I'll be back soon with another video. So if you don't want to miss that, then please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.